Shalom, Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS, the real will. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The GMS, stop and listen. Let's just come with a real short lesson. Uh, I was checking out, you know, uh, you know how you sometimes, you, uh, you know, sit here watching TV, and I heard this word come across the TV. And uh, when I looked it up, you know, I was like, okay, it was filter through the scriptures and see what it has to say, right? And the word was, um, I heard that word integrity, right? Now, integrity is, according to Miriam, Miriam Dictionary, integrity is the quality of being honest and fair, right? To the state of being complete or whole, a firm uh, uh, adherence to the code of especially moral or artistic values. So you have to be in adherence to the code of what the scriptures, right? The scriptures tell you the scriptures. That's mainly it's it's it's, a, it's about being honest, man. You know, it's about being complete and whole in the spirit and power of your how about shimmy how shy, man. You know, the one thing uh, you learn when you come in the truth, even though you have uh, you have men, we, we preach this truth. Your integrity is is basically like everything. Being that person who tells the truth, being honest, man. And trust me, every man at some time their integrity is gonna slip. Does that mean they're they're not men of the Lord? No, but your integrity is gonna slip, man. Because sometimes you have men that that are lie, uh, or, or make something up. They might bear a false witness to make themselves look good. But you know, how about Shemiah Shai watches that. And these is one of the things that you'll be weighed in the balance for in that day. You know, so you have to try hard and pray that the Lord keep keep your integrity, man. Keep his spirit on you where you can keep your integrity up. Because, you know, back uh, when you listen to that, uh, I remember Scarface movie. He said, all I have is my balls and my word. And in the two third world, they play big on that. Your word is everything, you know. Because if you you if you are found to be a a person who lie or bear false witness, you have no credibility no more. So you have to you have to watch closer. That word integrity is 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 a hip it's heavy man. So in the scriptures, when you go to uh, Job. Let's go to 31, 31 and uh, seven, seven. Job 31 and 6, let me be weighed in an even balance that the most high may know my integrity. So Job said, so let me be weighed, right? Weighed goes into uh To be received, right? Let him be received <clears throat> in an even balance, right? That the Most High may know his integrity, right? Like I said, integrity is innocence, right? Being truthful, man, because you gotta remember the things, the things that you you uh, are are um, held to do. In this truth and being in the brotherhood, it's going to be on one side of the scale. The actions that you take and the actions that you display are going to be on another side of the scale. It's going to be weighed in the balance because you have brothers. They probably think, oh, I got this. You know, I'm always I'm always on top of it. Don't tempt you how about Shimmy I was shy, man. Because he'll put a spirit on you. He'll put a spirit on you that you'll be going off, you'll be doing different things, and you'll have no clue. And then in the end, your integrity will be shot, and you'll still, you still won't be able to see the things that you're doing wrong, or you have done wrong, or things you have said that were wrong. You know, it's gonna be weighed in the balance. You know? Uh, this is 
2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amasiah, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So we receive the things that we're doing that are good, which is to be the salvation in the kingdom of heaven, or you receive the things that you're doing that are bad. And, and you want, and you, you don't want to, when the Lord come back, that you haven't repented of all your wrongs, man. Because we're in this flesh, man. We're in the flesh, man. Everybody not perfect. You'll say some things that that that'll be off, that'll be not true, and think you're doing right, and live your life on like that. You know. Hey, but Yahweh Shimei Shai sees everything. He knows everything. You know what I mean. So, uh, integrity. That's a, that's a hell of a word, man. Because you gotta remember, I'm gonna show you an example. Because don't never think you got it and it's true. That's why you pray constantly for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the Lord to keep His Spirit on you. Let me show you an example. Numbers 12 and 7. <clears throat> my servant Moses is not so. Who is faithful in all my eyes, man? With him, I, I will speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches in the similitude of the Lord. How shall he behold? Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak even against my servant Moses? So Moses was his servant, man. The Lord shall speak to him face to face. Right? But think about it. Moses didn't even make it to the promised land. The most high, the most high uh, basically took his uh, spirit to the spirit world before he could see the promised land. Why did he do that? Because at one time, Moses' integrity, his integrity was not upheld. Right here in the, I think it's, uh, I started at 12, and the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, Get get thee up unto the mount of Abarim, and see the land which I have given unto thy children of Israel. And when thou hast seen it, thou also shall be gathered unto the people as Aaron thy brother was gathered. For ye rebelled against my commandment in the desert of sin, in the strife of the congregation to sanctify me, at the water before the eyes, before their eyes, there is the water of Meribah in Kodesh in the wilderness of sin. See, Moses struck the uh, the rock, man. He wasn't supposed to do that. So right then, he thought he had it. Right? He thought he had it, man. But his integrity slipped. And this was this was a friend of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Moses was his, was one of his dudes, man. He was a servant, man. So who are we? Who are we, man? Who are we? If Moses if Moses' integrity slipped and he he went he rebelled against the commandment of the Lord and the Lord took his spirit, who are we, man? So don't never think you totally got it in this truth. Don't never think you got you know everything, because you it'll have you saying 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 things that you have no clue. Okay. It'll have you speaking ill, man. It'll have you bearing false witness. That's that's how precious this truth is. That's how that's how uh, 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 this walk is. It's it's a hey, Matthew seven, man. It's a straight gate, man. And we have to walk that way. So keep your integrity, man. Keep being honest. Keep your word. Make sure your word is burnt. And I'm going to close with this scripture. Uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourself. Right? Examine yourself. Right? Test yourself, make trial, purpose, attaining a quantity of what he thinks, how 
or how you will behave. Try or test one's faith, virtue, character by enticement of sin. Examine yourself, man, because hey, Satan is always right there. He's always right there trying to throw you off more than me and the Lord. And you how about Shimei Al Shai is going to he's going to let that, that, that demon try you. He's going to try you, man. Just like Job, integrity was tried. He gonna, you're going to try. You, you're not above that to be tried, man. We're not perfect. You know? It says, examine yourself whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own self, how your Havashah Bashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates, man. You don't want to be that reprobate, born without judgment. You know, because the most high had you going out, and you'll think you still got it. And your judgment will be off. You know, you'll be looking like looking at everybody else like something wrong with them, and it'll be you the whole time. So with that, hey, hope this short lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory. Be to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakahakwadash, and double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and bless to the hopeful lay. GMS, stop and listen, Shalom.